my heart, I will dance like David danced. When the Spirit of the Lord goes within my heart, I will dance like David danced. I will dance, I will dance, I will dance like David danced. I will dance, I will dance. Feel free to take yourselves off mute. We're going to start our interactive children's message. And I can hear you, so I want to hear your answers. All righty. Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Sunday. If you're not off mute, go ahead and take yourself off mute. Um, so this is the second, child second children's interactive Sunday and the week before Valentine's Day. Woo! I know we're excited. So I want to ask you all a question as per usual. Hmm, how do you all praise God? Do you all throw your hands up? Do you say, thank you, Lord? Yep, we, Samantha. Um, you could pray. Oh my gosh, that's such a good way to praise God. You can pray and tell him what you're so thankful for. I know I tend to do that sometimes. So you can shout, thank you, Lord. Do some of you do that? Sometimes you're like, okay, Lord, that was pretty good. So we'll see next time. Okay. So do you thank God in your mind for everything? Sometimes you can pray in your mind. Do you all ever do that? Okay. Yeah. So cool. Yeah, good. So some of us are already equipping, are already using our equipment that God gave us. You can use your minds to thank God. You don't have to be like, ah, thank you, Lord. You can just sit there and be like, cool. So now we can pray. We can think. Does anyone ever dance? Sometimes I dance. I'm like, wow, thank you, Lord. It's another Sunday. Woo! I can't dance too much because I don't want to kick over this nice TV screen next to me. So you can do all kinds of things and even more when you praise God. So I'm going to flip you up a little bit. So there are all kinds of things that you can do to, thank, to let God um, know what you're thankful for. You can pray. You can sing. You can dance like we have uh, been talking about. So... You can thank him for, there's all kinds of things you can thank him for. You can thank him for waking you up. You can thank him for your pet dog, for your pet cat. You can even thank him for the existence of Mario Kart. There's all kinds of things to be thankful for. I know I tend to thank him for the food in my belly. So when life gets difficult, because sometimes, you know, sometimes we can forget what to be thankful for. What do you all do when life gets difficult? Do you get upset? Do you get mad? Do you throw things down? Oh, is that what you do? It's okay, Jacob. So I, I tend to do that too. Georgiana, Bradley, what do you all do when you get mad? Um, I go up into my room and then I just um, play in my room and relax. Absolutely. That's, some, that's a good idea to do sometimes. Sometimes you just got to separate. Jacob? Um, normally I just share my feelings and take a deep breath and just, and just play something calm. That is an adult thing to do. Wow, that is good communication. You, you all are good. Wow, you don't need me. No, I'm kidding. So, life gets difficult and God knows that life can be difficult. God knows sometimes it's hard to be thankful. Sometimes it's hard to dance and sing. But I want to tell you all about a man named David. Uh, life got a little difficult for him. So King David from the Bible was honoring a ritual that glorified God. And this took, this took place in the book of 2 Samuel. And while doing the ritual, God struck down his friend Uzzah for being disobedient. Oh my gosh. So Uzzah accidentally grabbed the Ark of God, some, a little ritual that they were doing. And God struck Uzzah down and King David was mad. Ugh, I'm so mad. God, how could you kill my friend? Just like that. So it was hard for King David to be thankful, right? Right? So though David was upset with God, David still honored the ritual and even danced for God. Now, isn't that awesome? This is because King David loved God with all his heart and wanted to praise God instead of giving in revenge. Now, isn't that interesting? King David still praised God, even though his friend just got killed. So we can be just like King David and praise God even in times of difficulty. 
So we can even dance just like King David, or I'll show you a little hmm, science experiment. We can dance like these raisins. Now, I have another science experiment for you all. So we are gonna put these raisins into this carbonated water, it's Sprite, and we're gonna see what happens. They should dance. All right. Let me go ahead and do a little separating here. You gotta give your dance mates room to dance, right? All right, let's watch this. Uh-oh, raisins going in. Oh, they're dropping. Let's see if they rise and dance a little bit. Hmm. Oh, they're going back up. Oh, look at that. Some of them are going up. Do you all see that? Oh my gosh, they're going down. They're going up. Hmm, they're dancing. So when life gets difficult, we can be just like King David and dance for God, or we can be just like these raisins and dance for God. So no matter if life is going well, you can be thankful for everything, or when life is difficult, sometimes you just want to pout or go in your room and communicate like David. You can praise God through it all. Will you all pray with me? Thank you, Jesus, for another Sunday, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Even when life gets difficult, Lord, you still allow us to praise you, Lord. And thank you, Jesus, for blessing us with so many ways to praise you, Lord, and so many things to praise you for. In your heavenly name we pray, Jesus. Amen. All right, you all.